Hello there everybody, it is me Feaser Bunny, and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed building video. Okay, so today we're gonna be speed building a traditional Philippine house, and I'm super super excited to do this build, but first things first, hopefully you guys are having a happy holiday, because if you guys are probably watching this on the day of the release, it's probably the holiday season, so happy holidays wherever you are in the world. I send you my love. Um, There's just so much stuff that's going on, you guys. Like, it's absolutely freaking crazy. I am kind of whispering right now because I'm currently in my parents' house to celebrate the holidays. I'm pretty sure many of you guys can kind of relate to that, uh, so I just don't want other people to hear me because it's going to sound really weird. Um, And also, in case you guys um missed it in my other videos... I just recovered from probably the worst cold I've ever had in my life. Like, I kid you guys not, I've had this cold for like a month already. And like, it's freaking insane how long it took me to recover. Like, I, I guess I kind of was feeling sick for like just two weeks. um, Because I had it like the last week of November. And then right now I'm still like feeling like the end of it a little bit because my voice is so super crackly because okay i finished this build about a week ago and i really really wanted to do the recording last week but i had no voice like i did my best i drank so much tea i drank i did literally everything i could possibly do to get my voice back but i couldn't and this is the best i can do right now and i I, like the voice I have it's probably the best it's gonna be and I'm not sure if I'm gonna have a lot of time since Christmas is approaching so I'm I really really want to do, do this recording because I have been working on a couple of speed builds actually um probably after this one it's going to be like a penthouse or something but anyway you guys, we are speed building a traditional Filipino house and I'm super, super excited actually. I feel like it's a really relevant build because um, the newest expansion pack, City Living, actually has Filipino food in it as well. Like there's an entire like shop where or stall, market stall that you can buy food and it's like selling all Filipino food. I did a separate video on that actually. So um, if you guys haven't seen it yet, it's super fun and my reactions are just freaking crazy crazy so anyway um a lot of my youtube friends actually have been telling me to do something that was inspired by my filipino culture but i've been putting it off actually to be honest with you guys because uh like for the for the longest time i've been putting it off because i thought to myself like nobody's gonna want to watch that like nobody's gonna be interested in me like speed building a traditional filipino house like nobody because most of my audience is like western based like most of the people who watch me are from the are from the United States or from Europe or from Latin America or from Australia. But you know what? This speed build is dedicated to my small but super dedicated and super awesome Filipino audience. Um, so I'm giving a shout out to all of you guys and hopefully you guys will still continue to support me. And if you guys are happy with this build, especially to my Filipino viewers, um, maybe you guys can share it. And then I can reach out a little bit more to the Filipino audience on YouTube because it is massive on YouTube. So anyway, I decided to do this because I felt like it was a great opportunity to kind of talk about my culture and just share a little bit with you guys. So um, obviously by what you guys can see, I am trying to name this house a Nipa Hut because that's what you call this kind of house but for some reason the game is stopping me from doing so and i kind of get why because it could kind of be a racial slur or something i don't i don't know um but this house it's usually called a uh, bahay kubo in the philippines and in english you can call it a nipa hut or you can just call it a philippine house you can do whatever um and obviously it's probably super super different from what many of you guys are used to seeing um it's kind of like a cliche stereotypical southeast asian house though like it's built on stilts uh it's built elevated from the ground and it's built using wood and bamboo and thatch and all those kinds of materials <clears throat> 
One interesting fact, though, is that for many Asian cultures, um, the ground or like the earth is actually considered like very ominous, quote unquote. I'm doing like air quotes using my hands, but yeah, it's quite like super like Southeast Asian like Asian superstition in general, kind of. Is afraid to build on the ground. That's why many homes and many Asian architecture is built elevated, either on stilts or on platforms or things like that. And you can see that in many other Asian architecture, not just in Southeast Asia. You know, you can see it in Chinese architecture and Japanese architecture that like the homes are always built away from the ground because like there's like some weird superstitious stuff happening there. So of course, the Philippines being in Asia kind of shares that heritage. Um, so basically, a uh, traditional Filipino house called a bahay kubo. It's just basically one square house with like one massive room. Now for this build in particular, I made some partitions, but you guys can kind of feel like that there's just one massive room because there's really no doors that separate you know all the different rooms you know the living room flows into the bedroom and the bedroom flows into the dining room and the dining room believe it or not flows kind of flows into the bathroom because the bathroom is a separate kind of structure in itself but yeah um so let's see here um usually though um there wouldn't be any doors there would be like archways and stuff and um, to kind of separate the space, people would usually use like curtains and stuff or a fabric to kind of serve as doors, if that makes any sense. So for this build, um, I love how we're like already furnishing it right now, but for the furnishing, I decided to go for a more kind of retro-esque feel because basically this house, um, the backstory of it is that it was built by the father of the current owner. So the the person who owns it right now is a second generation owner of this house. And what he did is that he expanded the house. Originally, it was just one box. And then he expanded it in, to make it a little bit bigger. Um, but basically, a lot of the stuff, a lot of the furniture and a lot of the architecture that was built by his father or his ancestor um it still remains and he kept it so um that's why you guys can see like a lot of eclectic furniture there's like some antique looking stuff there's like some retro looking stuff there's definitely a computer in there there's definitely like a radio or like a boom box and there's definitely like a tv because even though this house looks like um it's like an ancient example of architecture it's still pretty common to find it in other places in the Philippines, actually, especially in rural areas. Also, I just noticed that my voice is still crackly right now. So if you guys are bothered by that, please bear with me. I'm going to be talking all throughout the video. Um, and this is the best I can do for now. And I feel like it's okay because I've been itching to do this recording for like forever. Like, I swear. Like, okay, so I told you guys that I'm in my parents' house right, right now. And I kid you guys not, I brought my entire computer setup. Like, I brought my monitor, I brought my keyboard, I brought my, you know, my CPU, my ev like everything. I brought, like, my computer and stuff like that to my parents' house. And I flew from, you know, from my apartment to my parents' house. It was just crazy. Like, it was such an ordeal. Like, can you believe it? Like, our luggage was probably like 70 kilograms that's like so much and i had like one box just for my um my computer because i just could not leave it there there's just so much stuff i had left to do and i was just like you know what i've already started a couple of builds i'm i cannot record anything um so i'm just gonna bring it to my parents house and hope for the best and i did not expect actually to be sick for this long um so yeah, I flew here to my parents' house on the 15th, and I'm recording this on the 22nd. Like, that's like a week of waiting in anticipation if I'm gonna get any better or something. And you know what? This is the best I've felt ever since I got sick late November, so yeah we're gonna deal with it you guys and i really wanted to get this out for you guys i don't know why but for me the holiday it's all about family uh it's like something we do kind of like a family tradition that we do every christmas season like where the family kind of gets together we have a big family 
uh, and we're still super close so yeah anyway back to the build um so yeah we are working on the bedroom and it's probably really weird for you guys to have the bathing area in the bedroom but usually though um or like traditionally the filipinos are really really clean people like it's normal for people to take a bath like once or twice a day you know like honestly like that's super normal like people probably wake up take a bath and then once everything's done before they go to bed or in the afternoon they would also take another bath um traditionally they would do it in bodies of water like streams and rivers and obviously there's not really any bathtubs and stuff um but just for the sake of this um builds i just you know what the sims still need to take a bath some way so i just kind of incorporated that bathtub right there to make it able for the sims to take baths um or you know what the traditional way of taking baths i guess would probably be around wells because like i said I, I probably mentioned this like 20 times already but I'm, right now i'm at my parents house and we have a well it's like a natural well we've had I'm, like we've had it since i was like a bit like a child even probably before i was born but it's really common to have wells in people's homes and we have a well so when i was a kid we used to take a bath there uh, so yeah anyway um, let's see here. Once again, it's probably really weird for you guys to see this type of architecture, but it's it's the reality, you know? Like, I said earlier before that this looks like a really ancient building, but it really isn't. It's still really common to find these type of homes in the rural area of the Philippines. Like, the farming community has homes like these, even though concrete homes that are, like, Western-style are becoming more common i guess because it's like thatched homes like these are very inexpensive to build initially but they're very difficult to maintain so not many of them could survive like the typhoons and like the weather and like global warming and stuff it's like super difficult to maintain this kind of home because they're very fragile during like storms and stuff so that's why a lot of people choose to build using concrete instead of these traditional wooden materials um so yeah uh but yeah th this kind of architecture you guys can still find in um rural areas or you know it's also like used a lot in postmodern architecture i guess like in resorts in um in you know things like that it has like that type of you know like architectural aspect to it if that makes any sense so yeah um okay like let's see here i'm like super struggling here because i do not know how to fill up that wall i'm just gonna copy the thing that we have in the bedroom um it's actually really common i don't know why i don't know if this is a traditional thing or not but I noticed that in a lot of dining rooms, we would have mirrors. So there's a nice little mirror right there. And also, if you guys noticed uh, earlier, I put like curtains on the beds. And those are the closest things I can find in the game to mosquito nets. I'm not sure if you guys have seen, I'm not sure if you guys have seen a mosquito net, but it's like a blue kind of like a blue green kind of fabricy, plasticky thing. Um, and usually people would hang that over their beds as like a canopy to, you know, protect them from mosquito bites because the house, it's really open. You know, the bugs can come in freely. Like I've slept when I was a kid, like I've slept in a, re I, okay, so story time with freezer bunny but yeah when i was a kid i went with my aunt and my cousin to like a really really remote area uh because like we were like i don't know we were attending like a farming fiesta or something like for the farming community in that area and basically um we had to spend overnight because it was super far and um <laughs> uh apparently from where i was sleeping i was like eight years old probably seven or eight years old but apparently from where i was sleeping like literally right next to my bed was like a gigantic gecko like it was like huge it was probably like two feet and it was blue and my cousin was like freaking out she was like oh my gosh that's gonna eat him um 
a ge- in case you guys don't know a gecko is like a kind of lizard and it's really creepy i'm super scared of lizards and they're all over the place in my country um you couldn't necessarily see it but you can hear them for sure because they make like a really weird sound but anyway so um thank god it didn't eat me <laughs> uh but yeah we have a superstition though that when you touch a gecko um like geckos have like really sticky feet and when you touch them they will not you'll not be able to remove them from yourself so that's like a nice little superstition but yeah we just finished furnishing the bathroom the only thing in there is just literally a toilet and some decorations to make it look like people actually use it um so yeah It looks like we are actually starting on the landscaping now. This is a really fast build actually compared to the many other builds that I usually do. Right here I tried making, okay, right here I tried making and failing to kind of recreate um, like a clothesline if that makes any sense. But yeah, clothesline, it was a big fail so I'm just like okay. I tried to make it though because I wanted this house to look like it was really lived in and people actually really take a lot of care um, to maintain it and stuff. It is like passed on through the generations. I wanted that but the clothesline, it just did not work. (laughs) It did not work. I was like it looked really weird so I got rid of it. I also tried to put in a well weirdly enough. But it just didn't work. I felt like it looked really out of place. So I just, I will remove that eventually actually. So yeah. Also to all the Filipino viewers out there, you would probably be familiar with a traditional folk song in the Philippines called Bahay Kubo, which sings about um, this traditional house and like a dozen or so um, fruits and vegetables that are lo- that can be found in a traditional house. Um, so yeah, none of you guys can probably relate to that, but basically there is a folk song in the Philippines called Bahay Kubo, and it enumerates all the different vegetables that you can commonly find in these type of homes, and you know, it has a lot of stuff that it mentions, like it mentions like some squash or pumpkins, and beans beans i do not know what the english versions of them are but yeah um so i kind of taking inspiration from that traditional folk song i incorporated like a vegetable garden actually so um over here we have a couple of vegetables actually the vegetable garden itself is the one that we're making right now here at the back um in the front it was kind of supposed to be like um a rice field uh but i built this on a really really small lot so i was like okay like yeah it, it looks decent though like it still looks like a legit rice field um and i was able to use some nice little items and just making some nice little pathways over here um so yeah we will be putting in the quote unquote uh rice later on no there's not really any rice in the game it's just grass that i kind of chose because it looked like rice um but yeah of course we're placing in palm trees because these are super common in my country you will find them anywhere and there's a couple in our house as well um coconut palms so yeah very very common right here i really tried to place in a nice little well area but it just did not work um and i didn't want to force it so i just got rid of it in the end um and yeah like let's see here i'm just placing in some nice little palm trees and making sure that they look natural oh my gosh my voice i i can literally like hear it i'm like losing my voice uh but you know i i assure you guys that i'm feeling so much better i'm feeling normal actually it's just my voice like it just it just doesn't want to get better (laughs) okay so yeah we're placing the fictional rice the imaginary rice um but it looks really good this is kind of like an artistic license that i gave to myself because rice you usually do it really geometrically like all lined up and stuff but just to make it look a little bit more interesting here i decided to do it kind of in a curve just because i felt like it looked a lot more interesting and this is a vegetable garden i don't know i chose the things that looked like beets 
um which are not even like a traditional crop you know what those can be like um those can be like uh pineapples though because that kind of looks like a pineapple stock um and pineapples are really common in the philippines so yeah the house actually that i was mentioning to you guys about when i that i stayed at when i was younger had like some pineapple crops to it so that was pretty cool and pretty much to finish up this landscaping i placed in some extra ferns to make it look a little bit more jungly if that makes any sense like to make it look a little bit more um tropical paradise kind of like that um which i actually i really really appreciate it i really want more tropical plants in the game i feel like you know like i am so excited for like a beach themed expansion pack um so hopefully we're gonna get that soon uh so yeah to compensate for it though we do have the tropical living uh which was an ex which was like a mod by simply nando and i did a review on it it was really fun so yeah just placing in some nice little flowers over here just to kind of bring in some color um you would actually find some random flowers in people's backyards and i think there's also going to be a fire pit um over here out back and a couple of chairs just to you know if people want to grill some stuff like grilled fish or something they could do that and it looks like um we're going to go ahead and put in a nice little mailbox and i think i'm also going to put in some lights as well to finish things off just to light things up i mean traditionally nobody would have these kind of lights but just for this for the purposes of this build i feel like the lights were pretty necessary to illuminate the outside but it looks like that is actually pretty much it for this quick little speed build hopefully you guys had some fun kind of discovering a little bit more about our philippine culture and also thank you so much for bearing with me with like you know being sick and stuff oh yeah i totally forgot that you can give homes personalities now so it has the homey and the um fertile soil kind of thing so anyway once again sorry if i'm sick and i'm still pushing for this recording but i'm super super happy that i'm finally done with it so let's go ahead and cut into the floor plan so you guys can see how this lot works but yeah that is pretty much it for this build i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up my commentary right here once again please don't forget to hit that like favorite and subscribe button if you guys want to support the channel because it really helps out a lot okay you all have an awesome 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 day thank you so much for watching happy holidays enjoy the rest of the video and i will see you guys next time bye bye <music>